So, I got a ride to the, from uh, Trail Lakes to Harpers Ferry, and I am now on the Appalachian Trail again. Uh, it's been a long day, five hours in a car. I am going to show you the rivers here, and then I'm going to try to find some place next to the river to stealth camp for the night. Probably not in Harpers Ferry because Harpers Ferry has a ton of tourists everywhere and the last thing I need is some tourists reporting that I'm stealth camping. But maybe over there on that other side of the river in, in Maryland I'll find be able to find some place to get down by the river and camp. Ooh, something's down there. There's the river. So we've got the Potomac River here on this side and the Shenandoah River here. And they come together here. But I'm gonna cross the path here and go up here to the camp over there somewhere. Hey, where that person is right there. Somewhere over there I'm gonna to try to camp. So this is the uh, active train bridge, which is about to be incredibly obvious because we got a train coming into the uh, opposite area. Uh, slowly coming into Harper's Ferry. I'm still at Harper's Ferry. I'm gonna go back into town and give you guys a little tour and go to the ATC today. Um, but I just wanted to show you the, yesterday you could see all the way across this river. This is the uh, Potomac River. Yeah, but today we've got a little bit of fog in. So. I'm starting to pack up. I'm not really fully awake yet. It's only 6.30. But I don't want to be camped here when people start coming by. So here's the view of the Potomac River this morning. Uh, you can see the old bridge trestles. There's something just caught a fish in the... I don't know if you can see that, but uh, some sort of bird just went down and caught... Grabbed the fish out of the river. Um, so I gotta go to Walmart and get a resupply. Then I'll come back here. Um, I'm gonna try to show you some of the some of the town of Harper's Ferry. It's a beautiful uh, Revolutionary War town. Um, I'm gonna stop by the ATC and get my picture taken, and then I'm gonna head north into Maryland today, or I guess back into Maryland because I'm I camped in Maryland last night because I didn't want to pay for uh, lodging. Um, I've been. Yeah, I've been, uh, haven't done much hiking this month. This is pretty much the whole month I spent not hiking, just lazing around and being irresponsible and enjoying trail days and trail days lead up. And so I, I do got to start pushing hiking, but, um, I'm looking forward to getting into Maryland and Southern Pennsylvania. I have a friend in Southern Pennsylvania that I'll be meeting up with, hopefully. Um, haven't uh, never actually met her, but I played uh, video games with her uh, for years. Uh, she was uh, my guild leader in World of Warcraft for years, and I'm looking forward to meeting her. So, 
these beautiful old, old buildings of our prosperity, including this, what I can only assume is, uh, used to be somebody's home or dungeon. Wood cellar, maybe? Town prison? I don't know. But everywhere you go, you see a little sign of modern life. Spring house and root cellars. I thought it was a root cellar. These small caves are carved into the shale cliffside. At one time, Stern said, spring houses and root cellars for the residents of this block. The cooler subsurface temperatures of root cellars help preserve herbs, vegetables, fruits in, in the days before modern refrigeration. So this was a refrigerator, basically. Now it's a trash pit. Because people are idiots. Here's the Appalachian Trail. It's where I came up. Okay, to be honest, I didn't come up that hill. I came up a, a, a steeper one. Huh, there's a car in the middle of the Appalachian Trail. St. John's Episcopal Church. The weather ruins are the remains of St. John's Episcopal Church, one of Harpers Ferry, Harpers Ferry's five earliest churches. Built in 1852 with money provided by church fairs, St. John's served as a hospital barracks during the Civil War and suffered considerable damage. It was rebuilt afterwards, but it was abandoned in 1895 when a new Episcopal church was built in the upper town. Wow. Kind of surprising that it's still been left in such... I'm not too surprising, but... So yeah, I'm out of breath. I just came up this steep stairway and I have quite a ways to go. Well, not quite a ways. I'm almost to the top of the stairway. But, uh, whew. After I figure out my resupply, though, I'm probably definitely going to jump in the Potomac and go for a swim later. Jefferson's Rock. On your right comes the Shenandoah, having ranged along the foot of the mountains for a hundred miles to seek a vent. On your left approaches the Potomac, in a quest, in quest of a passage also. In the moment of their junction, they rush together against the mountain, rend it asunder, and pass off to the sea. This scene is worth the voyage across the Atlantic. This is how Thomas Jefferson described the view from here during a visit to Harpers Ferry in 1783. Around 1860, the U.S. Army superintendent ordered redstone sandstone support pl placed under Jefferson's Rock because it was endangering the lives and property of villagers below. That's where they're climbing right now. The AT goes up this way, but I'm going to go over there and take a peek. Imagine at some point some idiot's gonna come along and push it over, but hopefully not in my lifetime. So the sign is very clear. Do not climb up or around Jefferson Rock because it's dangerous and fragile. And if this old dude decided to climb up on it anyway. So this is, uh, I don't know what this is. Female Sue is arriving here at Cook Hall. Dormitory were greeted with a welcome letter, advising them here you will come as a refuge from the strangeness and perplexities of campus life. Here you will fight your battles of adjusting to new surroundings. Here you will gain new understanding of community living and friendship. Store, S-T-O-R-E-R, -E college provided a refuge from the pressures of segregated society. Students flourished within the structure of the store community. Football play, teams played on the field before you 
and literary clubs and music groups met in the building around you. It appears to be in an all-black school. Cool. So I'm inside the ATC Conservancy at Harper's Ferry. It's got a little bit of a store. An old guy that likes to answer questions. A little safer. Grandma Gatewood. Don't want to win. Orient Express. It's always named Orient. He was known as Orient Express on the trail. Marcella Fairweather, I don't know her. From Harper's Ferry to Dunn Cannon, it's a pretty easy trail, but then Dunn Cannon gets rocky. So I'm hiking out of Damascus into Maryland. I uh, have my race supply, my battery is three quarters charged, and I forgot to upload my videos. Uh, I was at Walmart, I did my resupply, came out, the bus pulled up, I got on the bus. Forgot to Completely forgot I had to upload my videos. So, uh, yeah, that's not gonna, that's a little annoying. Not sure when I'll have another chance to upload. But, uh, anyway, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to upload today. Or, sorry, I forgot to upload today, I guess. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.